Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Pinedons playthrough. It's Shigostified Gamer. Well, guess what? <laughs> Technical difficulties again. Not a big deal, though, but I'm doing a voiceover. So I'm going to try and follow along with my video here and uh, <laughs> wish me luck. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, yeah. Military science. We're on it. Plus, we got a couple other little projects. All right. I did some hell mod work, so we'll we'll get into that as well in this uh, recording here. We're also going to do a, a speed up video as well on the building of this uh, monster. Okay, so I have this set up for point four, uh, military science a second. So if you multiply 0.4 times 60, you get, you know, what, tw uh, uh, 24 or 240 or something a minute. Uh, and for some reason, when you switch from uh, the base time after the fact, Helmod doesn't update the numbers for the output. So you have to do that manually. So I guess you would have to change your base time and then update your output so that it kind of matches up because what it does is it goes oh you want to do 0.4 a minute oh okay these are the machines you need and this is uh kind of the the military science isn't tough i set up the sulfur a while back and so we have that we have everything we need uh, it's just you know a matter of production right everything that needs to be fed into here what I find odd is it's lead, lead, and lead. <laughs> we need lead for the actual science pack as well as the both the bullet casings, meaning the you know the the piercing and non and just the regular firearm magazine, uh, saline water, sulfur coke, which is kind of cool. So we have salt, so, uh, you know, got to use for for our salt again. So I have to tap more salt mines eventually. Yay, me. And it uses steel for both as well. So we have the, what was it? Lead and steel and gunpowder makes the first iteration. And then we have, again, lead and steel to make it a piercing. I thought that was kind of interesting. Then of course we had the, the stone wall, and which isn't too bad. And that's pretty quick. Uh, I'm using the coke for fuel for this whole build and we get a little bit of ash and I'm just gonna pie burn it because we have coke on site otherwise I train it out so that's how we're gonna handle that and um, I got the ash that's the ash line coming out I'm gonna re-establish that though I just I wanted all the inputs and outputs I you know the way I'm designing things now off screen because I have to put a lot of thought into these things is uh, you know I try to manage the inputs and outputs and stuff and everything changes when you start to build it and connect it connect it up so we'll see how this goes here um, I think that oh oh yeah yeah I forgot to put the coke into that machine there the stone wall machine so uh, I just have to move some stuff around yeah no worries it worked pretty well there. There's that. Uh, coke line in, and boom. Done deal. All right, now just trying to... Oh, yeah, the saline water. I have... A, I, have com I, I like doing this where I have the combinators designating the inputs. That way I, can, I have a snapshot... And it, it, it takes quite a bit of the mess out. Oh, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm using, I put this down as a, a save because for the sciences, I have that design where the trains come in and can dock. But I decided, well, and I wanted to keep the that rail that's going north-south there because that I'm going to put a yard at the end of this for other builds that have, we have inputs and then outputs, right? That's kind of how this is. And so I'm going to keep that there. I, or the original plan was just to copy paste it. So I had it, you know, in physical form. Uh, and then now 
I'm going to use it for the military science, which is kind of, uh, it worked out pretty well. So what's funny about this is I'm training the military science over to the, over to the science. However, things could change. We could move stuff around. You know, I could take this build and move it somewhere else and get reestablished. Because right now, the way I'm looking at it is I'm just trying to get a feel of this stage of the game here. We're still in the beginning, so, you know. And, oh, I don't know when this clip ends here. Uh, let me get, oh, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, I guess I could keep an eye on it over here. I, I, I've, this is the first time I've done a, a voiceover <laughs> in this software. And I have a feeling that I'll get the to the end of it. So, yeah, just it, be mindful. I may have to chop my voice off over off. <laughs> oh, now here we are. Um... This is the new and improved Pi Science 1. And I'm really excited about this. And what I want to do, I actually want to do latex without using Vrauk. So I'm going to do some tests here uh, between doing it with Vrauk versus not. The glassware, doing the glassware with the heat and that uh, boric acid is reducing the footprint by at least a factor of six for the Vrauk build. It's really cool. And I'm going to use the limestone and wood for cellulose because I just it's easier. And as you can see, the footprint isn't, was it seven and a half there? So it's not too bad. Uh, but what I, what I was thinking is I'm going to strip the glassware out of here. And what's left <laughs> is funny because the Pi Science 1 is the glassware and the substrate. That's it. So there's nothing left. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do with all this? This monster stopper, you know, basically glassware build, which can be used for Pi Science 1 and logistics. And, I, and also there are the... Uh, DNA things that we have to have the glassware for. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you know, I'll posting it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out the glassware from this and go for a, some, a certain amount of rate. That way I can uh, build it independently of the Pi Science 1. And then I can rip the logistics science stuff out as well. And now I'll just train it in. And I think it'll work out pretty well. Uh, yeah, there's the AUG pad X. You can look at that. It's one and three. One breeder, three pad X. It's ridiculous. The slaughterhouse, however, as you can see, is still one. And that's because of the formic acid that we need to increase this. Oh, and by the way, I did, inc I did double it. It's 0.4 a second versus 0.22. So that's pretty good there. Um... Yeah, so there I'm pointing at the, the yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, what am I doing here? Yeah, like I said, my oh, what happened was I updated Windows, and what I forgot I did it last night, and I went to record this today, and I forgot to look, I, 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 and what I did is I I can't remember. I think I updated, and restarted. And then I, I didn't record anything after that, and I forgot, oh, yeah, Windows, sometimes it'll knock your audio track, or it'll, it'll default your mic to, it'll take your mic and make it the default, which is really annoying. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going over here. Let's see. Um, yeah, the glassware. Yeah, so we have 0.25 machines for the glassware. And as you can see, if you look at these numbers, they're really tiny to make this the the vials. Oh, here we are. We're getting close to the end now of my little cut. And we're going to do a speed up uh, with me punching down the military and getting it up and running. And then we'll do a little bumper at the end of that. So here we go. I'm going to stop the voiceover.
Okay, here we go. This is where I, uh, the voiceover has to happen again. Oh, let me bump out this thing here. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on stuff. Uh, so I, oh, I put in two trains, and what I'm going over here is I could potentially pull the ash out here by. I'll probably just do one of those curve rails, you know, where it's one way in, one way out. Uh, but, I, yeah, I could modify it where I can get it out of there. But there's so minimal, a such minimal ash from this. I just did a pie burner. 
after I ended this recording. Um, I keep forgetting that with the one one trains, you have such little room for all these darn lamps and combinators uh, for the TSM part, which is the downfall of TSM. The lovely part about LTN is, is one combinator, 14 items. And this, you have to have such a large footprint for these lamps. Now, there is a tutorial someone referred me to where you can use a constant combinator, but you still, for and it takes all the lamps out. And you set the constant combinator, uh, constant combinator up with a negative signal of all the items that you want. And uh, the value that you want to trigger on is the negative signal from a constant combinator. You hook that up to your uh, the f back end of your deciders. Your deciders are triggering based on them going positive, I think, because... I think what, or uh, I think it's negative. I can't remember now offhand. I'll have to watch the tutorial. But what you're trying to do is trigger the decider to output the signal A, B, C, D, and then that will call a train. I'll have to look at it again. I think I I, I want to say the constant commentator is wired to the front of the decider because the decider is gonna. Well, no, I don't. Yeah, because well, you do have to trigger on the A, B, C, D. Or you trigger on the amount, and then it calls a train, and it, it allows you to not... Oh, and you can't have priority schemas for that, I remember now. Anyway, uh, so I had to do some undergrounds to accommodate for these deciders and the lamps. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm going over here in the video. <coughs> and, uh, I forgot to wire the damn tank. And it called two saline water trains, which is fine with TSM. But when you have an LT, that's why one of the downfalls at LTN is it'll call a train. And if it errors out, it calls another train and another train. For some reason, I get two trains plus the one that's in waiting to unload. And TSM will, will call every single train that you have in the network if you don't wire up something correctly. And, but you, what you do is you just fix it. You let the trains come in, you leave, you know, you, you send them back home and eventually you leave, they, it goes away. Now here is the sulfur. Yay. We're using sulfur and we have ammo now. Cool. Uh, there's the gunpowder. Very fast craft time. So time to start pulling these combinators apart. I did have to redo that uh, aluminum and lead belt. I had the incorrect uh splitting going on there it's once you start that's why i stop the flow so the wrong stuff isn't going too far and then you have to pull everything up um there's the stone bricks now so yeah it worked out pretty well this this build was kind of uh, surprisingly very quick even though it's a 10 it's a i think a 10 second craft with two science packs per craft so we're getting four every uh, 10 seconds on this, uh, which is uh, one every two every five or something, I guess. And uh, I ran this thing off screen after I did the recordings, and um, I won't be able to feed all the labs that I have set up. Uh, but that's okay, because we're looking to get through the research and then try to implement better, better builds, you know, as we go. But for now, I want to get some key research completed so that we can get to the next level of stuff and get faster things because the footprints are so big right now because we have slow machines. If I could keep the same rate of science consumption and increase and, and decrease the size of the base, that would be ideal. I think that's kind of the direction I'd like to go with this um, playthrough is not go too crazy. I do want to get things done. Also keeping in mind that we do have a pretty high uh, science pack requirement and it's going to take a long time to get through this the science. Oh, I redo these trains better. I move the supplier stop up higher uh, on the rail where the where it meets the inputs there, the input rail uh, for the uh, items. So the way I have it here, I changed it. 
uh, that that supplier stop gets moved up and it's a lot cleaner so that it's one train behind the other and that's how i think i'm going to do some of these yards from now on instead of doing the the dual yard bump out i'm gonna have an input line and then the train will wait to dock and then i'll have an output stacker so to speak and it's going to be a one lane rail stacker instead of doing two you know it's like it doesn't make sense to do a bump out like that because two trains aren't going to be able to leave the same time anyway it's just kind of habit um now when you have like oars and things in plate yeah you can do two all right you could you do like four to eight like i'm doing because one train will leave and then another train could leave behind it you know depending on how you have it set up and also depending on how many builds you have processing ore into plate uh, I decreased that amount after the fact as well. I'm going with one stack in the train uh, and two stacks in the case. Oh, and I had to set up the... Uh, here we go. We're going to set up the military science officially here on TSM. I like TSM. I, I don't really mind trains sitting in yards doing nothing. Uh, but when you have a big mod like this, it does kind of, it, it annoys me. And I, uh, the threshold on TS or LTN kind of annoys me a little bit because the threshold is on every item in that combinator, which kind of, it, it makes it tricky. So the, uh, there is a way I could use a, a math, uh, uh, arithmetic combinator to kind of bring it back into line with what I want. Oh, and the reason this lamp is lit is because the military train is not... There is no military science train available. And I thought I'd point that out. I always forget. I thought... <laughs> I'm like, why is that lamp lit? It's because the stupid train isn't in the yard ready to go. Uh, so that train right there needs to be in the yard and on the way. Uh, that's why the lamps pop. And it's a good troubleshooting tool as well. If you remember that the lamp means no train is available for that uh, request. Uh, don't ask me what I'm looking at here. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember everything. Uh, I think I'm looking at the Pi Science here. Pi Science 1. Pi Science 1 is a little lacking with the amount of labs I have. I did test this with uh, six military researches. And everything but military was kind of lacking. The automation science is even lacking. Now, here's why. The automation science is, um, it's six now. Six per lab craft. It used to be three or something, so it's doubled. And what's great about this whole thing, this whole system we have now, is I could punch down another small parts build another iron plate build another copper plate build i can punch down another automation science build i can increase the native flora trains the yard have more native flora uh, opportunities and it's a done deal so we can increase our science output very easily with outposting the logistic science is another story and that is a nightmare <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna uh, that whole build has to be redone the logistic science, the Pi Science one, like I said, is in, is due for a rebuild with all the new tech that we have, and everything is being outposted now. The Pi Science one could be very easily upgraded if we can strip that rubber stopper and glassware out of there. Oh, I'm going over Pi Science two. Check this out. Uh, we have nine, no, ten, eleven items, eleven items, and it makes me cry. But I'm excited about it too. In the same same thing. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna. I'm gonna go into the hell mod here. We need the mechanical part one, and guess what? The mechanical part one needs the brakes, the shaft, and I think the transmission as well. So let's take a look. Yeah. So here here's where I realize it. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> we need brakes. A control unit, the tranny, uh, the shaft, a con uh, that little yellow control or white control box there, rubber. Oh no, <laughs> we need tin cable 
and we need steel. And that's just one component to this mess here. Uh, the glassware is in there as well. I thought, you know what? I could have swore the glassware wasn't in there, but it is. Yep. And so this will. This is another reason why I'm going to outpost the glassware from this point on. And I probably will look into the non vrauk one. I'm going to use those tabs on the side there, the recipe tabs, for certain things within this block here. But I'm going to do a glassware outside of this, and then we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Where is the head playhead at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't go too <coughs> go too far here. Let's see. Um, the yeah, so breaks and all that. Let's see. Oh, ceramic. Oh, and vitter alloy. Yeah. So I'm, I broke out the breaks. I thought, and this is where things are so buried into a recipe. Breaks, and I th I was thinking Vitter Alloy was not in science. It is. Ceramic. I didn't, I've been doing internal ceramic builds. Well, now I think it's time to break that out and do a ceramic build, like one yellow belt or two yellow belts of ceramic or something, you know, depending on how much we need. The tin cable is another one that I'm not sure about. I'm, I don't know if I want to do that on site because... We actually have to use copper and tin. Uh, we can't cast it yet. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that one. Oh, what's this now? Oh, yeah, the next two. I'm breaking everything out here. As you can see, <laughs> fish oil is now part of science, which is crazy. Uh, so a bigger fish build might be in order. I don't know. Fish oil build. Um, and, oh, yep. Uh, the iron nexalate antimony special alloy is a part of science. We, it already is, but now it's even more. What else do we got here? Oh, we got quartz, battery, green circuit. We have a lot of these things already. We, we can build this. Uh, I, as soon as I drill down into the, I'm going to read, I'm going to do this all off site or off screen here. I'm going to break it all apart. We're going to collect all the materials. The glassware is going to be a build on its own. We're going to do that, I think, next in this uh, episode here. So I'm going to collect all the materials and we're going to do a glassware build. However, the stopper one is going to be probably not next episode. But I want to get an idea of where we're going to be at and start building to. We'll bring the stopper in to the glassware build and make the glassware all in one area. And then the glassware will be trained to Logistic science, Pi science one, we'll do the, I think we might do the substrate on site for Pi science one, because I think it's used in something else, but we can always build it internally. It's not that tough to do. So I think the rubber stopper will be a separate build. We'll bring that to the glassware and we'll train that to the different sciences that we have so it's pi science one and two and logistic science right now so that's three builds that's that warrants to me a uh you know an outpost for that that'll be kind of fun and i definitely want to look at i mean the vrauks i know we can do vrauks the vrauk two the vrauk food with the level one vrauks and the level two vrauks as modules is going to help us out a lot i didn't realize it that we can't use the level two vrauks as a render oh here we go we're at the end of the voiceover here okay so uh i'll bring in what i have in a second here we go okay as promised oh boy i got some hell mod stuff for you all <laughs> oh boy and well let's talk about some things i did off screen a little bit here uh as far as the biomass i ran all the research and now we're looking at the Pi Science 2, which is next. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a long one, folks. Uh, I'm going to have to really, really condense everything from here on in because it's going to take another 100 episodes to get through Pi Science 2, it seems. All right, well, let's talk about the the biomass. I did a little, some updates. I got to move this belt. Um I don't know why I went up that way, because I was freaking out trying to get this one working. I had to add more blood, and because we're not using it. 
and in order to do research, uh, you're gonna have to render the augs, and the augs create the blood. We're not using the blood, so I had to punch down more. And then, of course, we're not using all the bio stuff. You know, we're not using these things for anything right now. In fact, you know, everything except for bones is full. And even that is close to being full now, the train that is. And this is just from Augs and the two Vrauk builds that we have. So that's, that's something. I had to beef up a few more of these. And like I said, I can go on this side here and produce more. However, we can't uh be going too crazy uh otherwise it's gonna be another belt of biomass now the good thing is we can make carbon dioxide from biomass so that is a thing and i will be well i'm gonna bring a train in from probably here and i'll do an ltn carbon dioxide uh pickup area just like this one i'm gonna have to fan this out more and i'm gonna do that for future builds this is a this is a good test as to how you know we're gonna have to do things with ltn i think uh it's kind of like a reverse tsm where the trains come in and leave and we have to have a, a high throughput loading situation so i'm going to be reworking this a little bit not this one in particular but uh maybe uh, we're gonna have to do another one of these builds too by the way <laughs> i'll show you why okay where is that thing here it is now, there is so much biomass being produced, I had to prioritize the biomass going to this lane here. Now, I I do have this prioritized here and this prioritized, so this will always go first. But it's going to go to the, I think it's dried first, and there's the fine, or this is dried, this is fine, this is... Um, uh, I can't remember this one. I can never remember the one. The powdered. I think it's powdered, fine, and dried. It'll prioritize this here first. And then it'll go around. We'll get carbon dioxide out of it. And we burn it off. And the biomass burns so much quicker when we have excess. Until we can get some new things up and running. And the mini loaders are handling it pretty well. So that's good. Uh, I have this thing connected to the power network and I have a green wire connected. So what I'm going to be doing is sensing that and I'm going to use a power switch with a SR latch and I'm going to switch off the coal power when this gets built up to a certain point. And so I'll switch over to this to the to this power here. And switch off coal power from the network. That way it'll, it'll just, you know, be disconnected. And I have to put in 24 of these. I have to double this. So I can go, you know, a couple more rows and, and all that. I can even pick off of this one and go south off of this tank. That means I got to beef these this whole thing up too. So basically it's going to be a copy paste of our current power right here. And when, I, when this thing was running, when I was running the research, it... It gets up to here about now. So these two are kind of sitting there doing, you know, it's just waiting to be run. Yeah, so this can ha this thing can handle some power, this whole beast here. So that's good. Uh, so that's what, that is the case there. Now, uh, let's talk, let, let's go into F uh, Hell Mod here real quick. I have two glasswares. And we're going to have to use this one going forward there's just no way around it now we're gonna have to do the or we have to introduce the organic solvent into the rubber or latex making process now what that's going to do is we have to do sulfuric acid and the formaldehyde, which means we need ammonia the methanol part of this is a recycling for some reason the methanol is used as like a catalyst or something i don't know what it's doing we get it back as you can see 0 0.2 0 0.2 or 02 this is in here which is kind of odd because i think it's taking even though i have matrix solver on it's still taking it but i don't think it's it's coming up here as we have extra 32 well that's not gonna be the case because we're gonna we this is a case where we seed it and then it's done uh with enough uh methanol to run the this process here to get the formaldehyde. 
ammonia needs a half damn belt of urea. So that means we're going to have to do another belt of urea or another aug build. Ugh. Now we get into this anthropod blood with pressurized water to get our organic solvent. That means we're going to need a new alien, a Zypho. I think that's how you pronounce it. The XY is a Z sound and the Zy, Zyhifo. Yeah, oh, I forgot the H-I, Zyhifo, I think. And the PH is an F sound. That means, okay, now we're going to get shells. More meat, more guts, and shells. We could do something with the shells. We'll have to look at that. And now we need fish food. <laughs> ah, fish food. And then we need this little Zypho larva to grow them. And filtration media, which means we need microfiber and carbon, activated carbon. We need nitrogen and more sodium hydroxide. We have coal dust. Zinc chloride we can do. It's not a problem. Uh, I think that creates the um, chlorine. More sodium freaking hydroxide. We have the fiber or the raw fiber. And then there's fish food. And this is where it starts getting kind of crazy. Our fish build is not generating fish. So we'll have to have a fish build for this. And this is just glassware. <laughs> Uh, we have, um, you know, all this stuff. So it's going to produce, um, or we need bones, lard, the skin, fish. And the, so these are things that we don't really have in mass quantities. We're relying on the logistic science to produce those when it's running. Well, yeah, when it's running and we're not producing enough of the skin. At least, well, we got lots of skin already in stock as well as the bones and stuff. But the bones are primarily being used for our, our bone meal, for logistics science. So that means I'm going to have to look at it for a, an alien render-only build to get these body parts, and then we have to stockpile and burn off what we're not using, which is kind of like, uh, okay. The last leg of this is the sulfuric acid, and we're looking at a refined syn gas with our carbon our activated carbon and a filter. The, I don't think we've used this one, the gas processing unit. Maybe we have. And uh, the filter. This is just for glassware. Now, I did a Vrauk glassware, and it's much worse. If you look at this, just this number right here, polybutadiene, carbon black, and latex, we need 2.56 machines. This is the uh, heavy oil refinery. And we can compare that to 0.64, literally, what, five times the amount from, or, well, oh, 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 six, four. So it's half, 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 you know, uh, what is that? Yeah, about four or five times, something like that, right? And if you look at the latex, uh, the formic acid, and we are at 64 here for the formic acid. And we go down here. And that's what we're after is the formic acid for that. We're at 32. So it's a reduction in half when we add the organic solvent. So now we go down to here. And look at this. We need all this sap. We need 3.2 slaughterhouses. And then the Vrauks kick in here. And in order to do the Vrauk food, and this is even including the Vrauk food too, which is crazy. So there's a lot of infrastructure. And if we look at both, this one is the Vrauk build, 128 versus 97. Now, not everything is broken out 100%. And, and usually I do that as I go because each build is so, into, you know, kind of independent in a sense. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go this route here. We're going to use the boric acid uh, and all that crap. Um. Uh, glass build so this is going to be just for glassware just for glassware and there's so much going on but and and i've been i'm battling with how i'm going to break it apart and you know all this these systems here uh i i'm probably going to do a build of an alien so going forward what i'm going to do is i'm going to build stuff and i'll showcase it and explain my potential reasoning behind it 
because there's no way I'm going to be able to build all this stuff on screen within an hour. Or, you know, I was trying to do 45 minutes and I increased it to an hour because of the amount. And sometimes I go over, but there's just too much to do. Let's look at the Pi Science 2 real quick here. I've been, I broke it all out here and I've been doing some things here. The, I changed this to a minute view and this one is one second view, but if you mouse over this particular, well, we click on this one here. You mouse over this, it's, uh, we're producing 96 glassware a minute. Let's go to here and we can click on this and we look at this and we need 12 a minute. So we're, you know, way above, but that that's because, I mean, we need 12, but we also need it for the Pi Science 1 and we need it for the logistics science as well. And we need to increase our logistics science and Pi Science 1 outputs due to the increase in the amount we need for the research. We want to try and keep and pay, keep pace with that if we can. Now, you know, granted it's off and on. We research a ton of stuff and then we don't research for, you know, 100 uh, you know, another 100 episodes or so. So I'm not too worried about, you know, oh, I got to be on, you know, right now I'm not too worried about productivity, production, you know, like everything has to flow perfectly. Okay. Now, uh Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. We bro I think we broke this out last uh, section in the video here in this in the episode. Um, a lot of this stuff. Okay, here, look, fish oil. We need a fish build just for fish oil now. Well, we have the fish oil build, so we can leave that. But we need a fish build because these other things are going to need the other animal is going to need fish to eat. So this one here, we need rubber. So there's going to be I'm going to beef that rubber build up a little bit more. Because we need lab equipment. We need rubber for this thing. Oh, it's getting nuts. I broke this out. This is the plasmids because I knew we needed glassware for that. And that's what's included in this number here. I think if I, yeah. Oh, this is the number I need. Six, okay, 1645. I'm sorry. I, I clicked on the wrong thing. We need 16.45 glassware based on what I've broken out here. Because I broke this out. And uh, I don't think we need anything, any glassware for this. No. We need rubber. Yeah, that's fine. This one here is the paragon, paragon. And we need glassware for that, as well as we need plasmids for this uh, clay, uh, chi, chitostatics, something. Or, well, I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, and another alien. A sea sponge, uh, decalin. Oh boy, more. Yeah, so I broke this out. We need uh, more lab equipment, uh, plastic there, um, artificial blood. This is where our blood will get used. So when we get this up and running, we'll have some use for blood. Um, yeah. So I and oh, we got this bio sample which doesn't use. Uh, the glassware. This case and stuff, I broke this out and it can't resolve the Corlex milk. Corlex milk, it keeps coming up with the filling of it. It won't resolve the milk. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know understand that one. It just keeps popping that down. So I don't know. All right. Uh, so I can't really figure out what's going on there. And now we have this uh, good alien sample, and look at that. We need poor alien samples for both logistics science and this. And I broke this out because I wasn't sure about it. The primers. Um, here's arcwood venom. Guess what? There's arcwoods right here. So the uh, primers do not need anything for glassware. Then we have zipper egg. I broke this out because I wasn't I, I didn't want to go into FNEI, I just broke it out. And here's a new alien, a zipper. So we need zipper eggs. <laughs> fish. There you go. So we need a fish build that just produces fish. And then we have uh arcwood honey. And the arcwood honey, which is kind of an interesting one, we need Ulrichs now. And the Ulrichs, I guess, make honey. I don't know what these are. I thought they, I thought the bee, we need bees. Oh, and then we got to do, I think this here. Um, might as well pop them in 10. Okay. 
yeah, so I don't know what's involved in, in this whole process yet. It might increase our glassware. And then we have the flavonoids. And we need this worm, a Yadels. We need fungal substrate. And we need the fertilizer. Ha, ha, ha. And everything else looks pretty straightforward. But we have to spin up a bunch of aliens. There you go. Oh, got to get rid of that. Now, what is that forcing me to do? That is forcing me to rip and redo this whole thing. This whole thing comes out. All this is coming out. It could stay here for now, but I mean, I don't know if I want to repurpose this area here for a new build. You know, I got all this space here. Well, I was going to do the Pi Science 1 here because all we need is the glassware and all we need is the substrate. And that I can do right here. Then this all comes out because we're going to redo all the glassware because this is all dedicated. This whole thing is glassware for the Vrauks is the stopper. And then we have the uh, quartz coming in for the, you know, melting of the to get the glass and all that crap. So this all comes out. This is obsolete now. The same thing for this entire area from here to here is gone. The battery build might need we might might need to look at that again, but I'm tempted to just leave it as it is and see how it operates under our new, uh, you know, whatever. So, ugh, yeah, and yeah, this is all obsolete. We're, the poor alien samples, like I said, we're gonna have to outpost that because we need it for both logistic and the Pi Science too, and so that comes out. The bones are kind of latched in here, and I need to. I need to pull them out. I need to get a build for bones and skin now that is going to be consistent. That means I might have to rethink the uh, this train network here or reproduce it uh, because uh, I might have to do LTN for this here is what I'm thinking. And what else we got here? Oh, the lab equipment comes out. We have to do that on an outpost. I already knew that uh, was coming. Uh, let's see here. Um, I can't rip this out. Yet, because the this combinator here is set to bring the bones in, and this is network ID 2. Now, I'm kind of okay with LTN now, so it's about time to get rid of network ID 2 and go with network ID 1 all out all together. Uh, this was just like to experiment with LTN here, and then when I started to expand and use it for the general base, then I had them separate, you know. But it kind of came back and bit me a little bit because I can't rip this thing out 100% yet. I did convert. Um, let's see. This one here is converted to net, network network ID 1. So this one is on network ID 1, but I, I didn't need to do it. I was just playing around. And this one is network ID 1 here. I converted that over now. I tested it out. It works. Uh, so, yeah, this whole thing has to come out. Logistic science. What I'm going to do, well, we're going to build, we have to build the, the lab, uh, those little vials first. So where are we going to do that? And I'm not too sure. Um, I'm also switching to this design here. And I'll have to do some experimenting with TSM to see if I can tr uh, pull more than one train in. That Or either that or I'm going to have to do one stop. And this one's going to have to extend out and go down. This one, it has to go, you know, so I'll have to have, it'll be a buffer for the trains and, or yeah, it's going to have to be like, well, I have to have an internal stacker from one to many, maybe. So this will have to, I'll have to branch out from here then maybe that's what I'll have to do. Yeah. And this will have, this will be an LTN stop. So I'm not interfering because I don't want more than one. I kind of want to set, get more trains in here. So it flows better, you know. So I'm going to go with this system here. I might just start it here and I can convert this to a four lane. That's another thing about this is I can convert this to a four lane like this. Easy peasy. And then have multiple trains on one thing and a stacker down here to go out. This one could come out. This could be just an input. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to collect all the materials for the glassware. And I think we're pretty... Uh, done with this episode right now so I'm gonna cut it off here next episode I'll show you what I got and we'll start to we'll start to 
I'll, I'll figure out how we're going to do it, but I'll probably have to do the builds and then we'll speed up connecting them into us into a system, a full system. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. At least the, you know, you're getting a good look at how we're, how it's going to be. It's getting worse. And then it's going to, it's only going to get worse from here. As far as the size of these builds, the sheer amount of work we have to do in order to get one thing done, uh, being that Pi science two. So I'm going to have some rebuilding um, and ripping off screen that we're, we're going to do. But we'll start with, we'll chunk it out and, and I'll show you like little pieces and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.